JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make these really fun no-sew sock bunnies and these are great for the spring. The supplies you'll need to make these are socks and today I'm using a plain white ankle sock but if you do not have an ankle sock you can also use a longer sock and just cut it to the ankle. And the size I will be using for all of my socks is 9 to 11. And you will also need a decorative sock and the sock is 9 to 11 too. You will also need scissors, pom-poms, and you will need two one and a half inch pom-poms. And you will need three one inch pom-poms. And for the face you can use a little mini pom-pom that is pink and you can use two googly eyes but if you want and you do not have these you can use a sharpie to draw on your face instead and you will also need white rubber bands or yarn or thread or anything that you can use to tie up your bunny with you will also need glue and today I'm using a glue gun and you can use whatever kind of glue you want or you can sew yours. And last but not least, you will need something to stuff your bunny with. Today I'm using polyfill, but if you do not have polyfill, you can use whatever you have or want to use. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, you're going to take your sock and if you are going to be using this type of sock, all you want to do is cut it off at the ankle and then please follow the same exact steps that I'm going to show you how to do with this sock. Now we are going to put the polyfill in the sock and please fill it to the ankle and do not overstuff it. Now once you are finished stuffing your sock, you will see that it takes the shape of the sock and you do not want to overfill it. So please make sure that you only filled it up to the heel. And we are going to turn it and then fold it so that the heel is in the back. And we're going to roll towards us. So we are going to start at the top and start rolling. Roll as far as you can go, so until here for me. And you are going to take your glue and you're going to make a strip, not all the way from the end, but towards the middle more, and make a strip of glue, and then fold it over and let it dry. Now that our glue is dry, we are going to flip our sock over, and at the top, we are just going to fold over the glued part, like this. And now we are going to pinch down in the center to create the two ears. So you're going to hold your finger there, grab a rubber band or yarn or something that you can use to tie your ears off with. And we're just going to wrap them around twice. And I'm going to do the same to the other ear. Now I'm going to make them look like bunny ears so I'm going to need to make them longer so I'm just going to pull this out more and I'm going to do the same for the other one. Now once you have your ears the way you like them you're just going to wrap it around a third time and we're going to do the same to the other ear. If you do not like how your ears are turning out you can always take your glue and glue them to a point. Now we are going to take another rubber band and we're going to make the head. So for the head, I'm going to make mine about this big and you can make yours as large as you want it. And you're just going to take your rubber band, place it over the head. You're going to get it to where you want it and then you're going to wrap it around twice so that you have two loops. So one, and two. Now we're going to glue on the pom-poms and for the bottom we use the one and a half inch pom-poms and for the top part we are going to use the one inch pom-poms and on the back we are going to stick one for the tail. And we're going to begin by gluing on the bottom ones and you want to glue them towards the bottom 
so that they can stand up when you are finished. Now we are going to glue on our top pom-poms and they are just going to go on either side of the bunny's body. We're going to turn our bunny over and we're going to glue on its tail. And again, if you want it to sit, you might want to put your bunny down so you can find out where to put it. And I'm going to put mine right about here. Now we are going to give our bunny a face and I'm going to begin by gluing on my Google eyes, but if you do not have these, you can always draw on your eyes. Now we're going to give our bunny a nose and I'm just going to glue on my pom-pom. Finally, we are going to draw on our mouth and our whiskers. Now we are going to put some clothes on our bunny using our decorative sock. You can leave your bunny just how it is if you like it this way, but I want to put some clothes on mine. So all you are going to do is take your scissors. You are just going to cut right below the heel. And we are only going to be using this part. And now we are going to put this on our bunny. And you want this toe part where it's sewed up to be in the back, not the front. So when I put it on, I want this to be near its tail. Like this. And we're going to pull it up over the arms. And at the top, you can just roll it. Now, for the other parts, we are going to need to pull our pom-poms through. And the only way to do this is if we cut a hole. So we are just going to, on each pom-pom, Take our scissors, cut into them, and then cut on either side to make the hole a little bit larger. So we're going to make one on this side. And now you're going to do them up here. And now we are going to pull our pom-poms through. So we're just going to pull them through gently and you can stretch out the fabric and pull them through like this. Now we are going to cut the hole for the tail, but before you do that, you want to pull it tight. So just pull this all up. And now we can cut for the tail. If you have some left over at the top, you can always roll it down or you can cut it. Now I'm going to show you how to make a bow if you are making a girl bunny. And all you have to do is take your leftover piece from your decorative sock. You're just going to cut a strip. So the strip that I just cut is about an inch and all we're going to do is fold it in half like this. And we're going to fold this side in to this side. So fold it in half. And then as much as you can, fold it back out. So we are forming a bow. So I'm going to do this one more time. We're going to fold it in half and then fold it back out and pinch it. You are now going to take a rubber band to secure this. mine around my bow four times but you can do it as many times as you would like and now we're going to just pull one loop from our bow and we're going to put it on either ear I'm going to choose to put it on this ear so just wrap it around the ear and fix it to the way you like it and now we are finished this is what it looks like when it's done, and these bunnies make great gifts for your family and friends for Easter. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me, Thanks so much for watching. Bye.